Hey YouTube, it's Kyle here. Um, today we are going to be learning how to play a music file, such as a WAV MP4, sorry, M4A, or an MP4, or an MP3. Um, here is my file here in the download, so I can't play that right now, but can I? No. So let's just you know, uh, go ahead and create a new project. Make sure this is a single view application, and we're going to name this playing a sound slash get rid a music. Save this, save this to the desktop for easy access. And go ahead and scroll down to Linked Frameworks and Libraries. Select the plus button, then select Audio Toolbox, and Add. Now, go into the d.h file, and type import, with the carrots, Audio Toolbox.h. In here, just go ahead and type IB Action Play. And in the .m file, go ahead and write the same thing again, only with the uh, curly braces. So, as always, we have our uh, code here. So, inside the braces here, just go ahead and type cf bundle ref. Sorry, yep, 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 yep. CF bundle ref main bundle. Equals CF bundle get main bundle. So just go ahead and find that. Get main bundle and semicolon. Next line, you just have to type CF URL URL ref. Sound file URL ref semicolon. Now, next line, just go ahead and type sound file URL ref equals CF bundle copy resources direct, sorry, resource URL. And the one we would want to do, that one there. Inside here, just go ahead and type main bundle. The next one is going, I don't know if I have that showing for you guys. Can you see that better? Yeah, we don't need that. There you go. So, it's, oh, that's not good. Hmm. Trying to make this easier for you guys to see. Okay, good enough. So, next you have to open up a bracket and then close the bracket over there and semicolon. But inside here, don't, oh, we have a uh, comma there. So, here just write cf string. Close that off. Yeah, I think we're using the wrong one. URL. Let's see. Can't be using the wrong one. Let me copy and paste this in and explain for you. Because I don't know if I can see that anywhere. There. So, that's better. As we can see, we have the main bundle, which is up there. And then we have our CF string, which is nowhere. It's just there. Telling us the uh, sound file name and the type of file it is. Um, oh, I didn't mean to put that in. But now let's just drag in that sound file copy into the 
destination groups folder. There. Now that is all imported. So after you type UI, just that, go ahead to the next line and type audio services create system sound ID. So in here, just write sound file URL ref, comma, sound, sorry, and sound ID. Close that bracket and a semicolon. Let me scroll down there. Last line of code is audio services play. So just go ahead and find play system sound. Then sound ID. Okay, now that's it. We can go ahead and connect it all up in the view controller dot uh, XIB. Go ahead and go to the attributes and change this to 3.5 and we're going to change the background color to a nice blue. Twitter blue. Let's get rid of that status bar. Who needs it? And drag in a round rec button. Let's center it and call it play sound slash music. Go ahead into the connections select file owner and select play and drag it over to the button and select touch up inside now that is it for this we can run this in the simulator and wait and wait and wait and it's wait it's four o'clock and it's four o'clock. And wait. And wait. And wait. And wait. And wait. And there it is. Oh yeah, our status bar will still be there because we did not change that. But who cares? So there is our amazing background and our button. So let's go ahead and select the button. And there's our sound, and you just heard what that sounds like. Um, there you go. It's cool. Um, anyway, uh, the duration of it does not matter, so I have a MP4 here. Yeah. Drag in that one. And now we can just go ahead and change this to uh, Tone 2. Change the type of file it is to M4A. And go ahead and run this in the simulator. And let's see if the MP4A worked. Okay, just as I thought. Um, I do believe that you cannot play that. It has to be a wave. So I wonder if it'll recognize it if I change it. Nah. Um, that's crappy. But the only type of file you can use with this type of code is only wave. So we can change that back. Whoops. And just to prove it works again, we'll go in here. So, as I said, you, as I was saying, you can only use WAV files with this, which is sort of crappy. I will probably have an updated version later on once I just get some better learning skills with the uh, audio, because I actually have not done that yet, but it's very useful. Um, I have a whole lineup of requested tutorials in a uh, locked folder, so I will be... Uh, doing those within like the next couple weeks. I know I've been saying on YouTube comments that it'll be out the next day. Don't believe me when I do that because I'm actually fairly busy. So just uh, think one day equals one week. So not one week equals like four weeks. So just one week equals one week. But only the days. I have issues with days. 
Um, this was also a request tutorial by I don't know who, but there you go. Uh, this is how you play a music file, and also this was personal, but if you have your uh, vibrate button thing, just put the code right there, connect it all up, and it should vibrate while playing a sound. Um, so thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any other video suggestions, you can leave them in the comment section below, or you can Skype me, or write on a comment, uh, write in the comments at our Facebook page and request that tutorial. Thanks guys for watching. Peace.